Hi there. I'm Dan Bernardo and this is Tabitha Marchand and we're with Rose Costumes. Today we're going to be teaching you how to put on our Nala costume from The Lion King. First things first, you have your actress wear the shirt and trousers that we've included with the costume and be sure to have the shirt tucked in. Secondly, we have a corset waist piece, as you can see here, designed to wrap around the actress. Line it up, there you are. Also be sure to have the waist of the trousers very high so that it's not seen ending underneath the corset. The zipper goes on easy, the trim hides the zipper, and you can actually see in the back here we have lacing so that you can tighten it or let it out as you need. The next piece, lion's knee tails. You can take the wider end there, and as you need, depending on the height of your actor or actress, our tails can be pinned directly to the back of the costume. The waist center hides it, and the tail remains in place. Next piece we have an overskirt. Now, you can either step into this or pull it on over and have that end just below the corset. And tuck it underneath, yes. And the way that Tabitha's done it, as she turns around, you see we pinned the tail just high enough that it's still visible after the skirt. Very good. Nextly, <clears throat> a pair of wrist cuffs. They incidentally have right and left labeled on them. We do that with most of our cuffs, so be sure to check that when you're fitting them on your actors and actresses. There we go. Now we also have a collar to go around the top and hide the seam of the shirt. A simple enough piece, it's got a snap at the base and a tie string at the top. There we go, tie right there. And then snap the bottom corner accordingly. And you can see how that fits just like that. Now the costume's almost complete. The last thing we have is the headpiece. First things first, have your actress tie her hair back however she needs, either a bun or a wig cap, depending on how much hair the actress has. Secondly, our headpiece comes in two parts. This cap that you put on first, and then the actual line headpiece that will connect to the Velcro that you see here. Simply, Open it up completely. There are straps to tighten. You want those undone and slip it directly over the actress's head. There we go. Now you can see Velcro will line up here, here, and on the sides. The ones here are for the headpiece. The ones on the sides are actually for the tightening straps in the back. Pardon me. You can see these two straps here with elastic and Velcro tabs. The straps are designed to crisscross, so right will come out and go over left left will come out and go over right. And you can tighten this as close as you need to fit your actress's head. Make sure it's secure. There we go. Good. We also have a chin strap in case you need extra support. A lot of the dancing can be very physically demanding and you don't want the head pieces coming loose. There we are. Now that we have it secure, we're ready to put on the head piece. As you can see here, our Nala headpiece has sections of Velcro that will correspond to the forward forehead and the top of the head. You're going to want to place it first with the top of the forehead and then bring forward and match the Velcro on the top of the head and forehead. There you are. And you can see how it sits securely. The actress can dance, move in any amount of choreography you need, the headpiece will stay in place. And with that, the illusion is complete. Once again, I'm Dan Bernardo, and this is Tabitha Marchand.
Thank you for watching our video.